YouTubers, thank you again for joining me. Up there where I'm at, just put nine panels on the roof. And before I got these nine, I was trying to save a bit of money. Instead of using solar rail, I was going to use a 25 mil square, 1.6 mil tubing, so one inch square tubing. And then when I got these nine panels, I put the description of where I got them from in the links. I got rails, actual solar rails for free. And I got more than enough to do what I need. I just got to move this bracket over. A bit, bit uh, stuck at the moment. Got plenty of brackets and pins and what I need to do it. Anyway, nine. What I'm planning to do with this is connect them three in series and then parallel them up with the other three. So three lots of three. In the meantime, doing something stupid once again. Those six are in parallel as I would have said in previous videos. That equals just under 50 amps. My controller is maxed at 50 amp is what it would handle. So what I've done here is I've got another four in parallel with those four. But these are lower wattage. These are 175s. Where over in the roof, the far two are 260s. They're 250s. And they're 190s, I believe. The reason why I've done that is because I'm stupid for a start. But I catch a bit of the morning sun. It's now it's about 3.30 in the afternoon. And the sun is over in that direction. Which is pretty much north. I'm just trying to catch the morning sun, which will rise over in there in winter. Summer rise about there. But what I've done is, I've got a switch inside that I can turn off any panels on the roof here. So about 10.30 or so, I'll turn them off. But I'm getting away with closely monitor them. And I can get away with three of those panels all the way through the day with those six. Because the sun sits way over there, I'm not exceeding the inverter, but please don't do this. This is partially why I posted my first video. Uh, fusing is not a dumb idea. But anyway, that's where I'm at. Uh, please look forward for more videos, and uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe, ask questions, support me. And also, yeah, with these panels, what I'm going to use is the PCM60X, I believe it's called, an uh, inverter which will handle the 12, 24, 48 volt system. So when I move to 48, I've got the controller to do it. And on paper, these three uh, lots of three equal about 1.6 uh, kilowatts roughly, so 175 watts each. Been a little over a month now. To summarize, uh, adding extra panels when I shouldn't have done so, I've had it running through this switch. So it just comes in straight up and still goes through the breaker. Now, obviously, the breaker is 63 amp with the panels on the shed and the panels on the roof. That would have been another four times 5.25. So about 25, that, would, that could have equivalent about 75 amps all up. So yes, it's tripped quite a few times. The inverter doesn't want to see more than 50 amps. It's still working fine. So the inverter is doing its job by cutting out when it's uh, got over amps, I believe, it's working. So now where my problem lies is, I will be uh, fixing it and keeping within the manual's instructions at 50 amp only. I'll replace that fuse once again with a 63 because when they get triggered a few times they won't work the way they should and now it does trip well and truly with the 450 amps which means the solar is running useless until I replace that switch so yeah I've got those nine panels on the roof running through this one well only five of the nine connected four uh, and I won't be running this through this setup until I get that controller I desperately need. So to give you a summary of what I did again, keep within the guidelines. Otherwise we could add to 
a situation in line with Average Joe, Average Joe's uh, video on safety. I don't want to be uh, someone adding to that video. So I stress you should keep within the rules, guidelines, manual instructions, anything safe. We keep to that and we're sure our system will stay working. Nothing worse than the system playing up like the switch, uh, which is the only one in. So, yep, what I want to do is redo this because obviously this is a mess and it's not really safe. I want to move that somewhere, I'm not sure exactly. And I'm thinking I'll keep this one somewhat where it is, maybe move it down a little bit over to the left because I want it in line with the PCM60X up to the top when I finally get it. Hopefully it's not too soon now. Too long of a wait, hopefully it's coming soon. I've got it all right yet. Um, but anyway... That's the reality when you do stupid things like adding more panels to a system that is not designed to take more than what you put in than that 50 amps or whatever yours is rated at. Uh, so yeah, that's the conclusion. Adding panels, don't do it. It's a waste of time, waste of money. This cost me $40 AU, um, Australian dollars. So there's another 40 down the drain. The first one I replaced was 50 amp in line with this. But this can do 50 amp, so yeah, it was stressing out and it did need replacing and the vice I got it should be higher than the inverter they say it's some 1.25 times what the inverter is capable so you know I can say 50 amp make it a 63 that's about 1.25 times higher than the inverter anyway I'm rambling on a little bit so once again uh, please subscribe hit the bell drop comments uh, pick up on what I'm doing here which is wrong and drop those too because uh, I want to fix what I need to fix without replacing them stuff so like I said all this has got to be changed that's uh, one of the solar wires in this is another one and that's what's coming off the house roof all got to be fixed all got to be changed got to make it safer um, anyway thank you very much again uh, please look out for the next ones and uh, thank you all once again see you later